Oh my goodness, from the entertainment capital of the world, it's time for This Week in Nerd Stuff with your boy, me, that cool guy, JT Little. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a week, what a week, what a week it's been. It's craziness out there. And you you know, I don't know if you know, but let me, let me pull this up for you. This is one of my favorite shirts, Guardians of the Galaxy right here. Look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy, Guardians of the Galaxy right here. And it's all neon and it made me feel very Vegas-like, so... I felt like there was only one thing that I could open up this week that would be appropriate for the situation. Want to know what it is? Let's take a look. Whee! All right, ladies and gentlemen, the playmat is out, as you can see. And looking at it very closely, it looks like we got some Yu-Gi-Oh! shenanigans going on this week. So, I guess that means that we're going to be opening up, you know, well... What do you think about this? Dun, 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 dun. Yes, yes, yes. A Yu-Gi-Oh! King's Court booster box. Let's go get it. Oh, this is going to be a rip-roaring good time. Rip-roaring good time right here. So this set, it's not a main set. It's kind of like a subset. It follows along the same lines of uh, Shadows of Valhalla and the newly recent, I guess last year, Toon Kingdom. So you get a whole bunch of exclusive cards in here and then a whole bunch of like reprints and it's we're going to see what we got going on here. All right. All right. Let's open this bad boy up. All this yakety yak nonsense right here. Ugh. Let's, let's get it going on here. Uh, see, this is why I'm not a professional. Mm, mm. All right. Here we go. So I believe you get 24 packs in here. You get seven cards per pack. Now, uh, every six of the six of the cards you get in here are going to be rares, and then you have a chance of getting a super rare, an ultra rare, or or a collector's rare, and that would be something spectacular. Oh man, I I, I can't wait to see how this because I'm actually very excited for this set actually because. It's very throwback, very nostalgic, you know, first series of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, all the King's Knight, Queen's Knight, Special Summon, Jack's Knight, the Summon Your God cards. So, I, I, I like it, I like it, I like it. We're going to see what's going to happen here. Maybe we'll get something good, maybe we'll get something great, maybe we'll get something spectacular. Let's, let's find out here. So, what do we got in this first pack? Let's see, let's take a look. So, we got... Pot of Duality, Wind Up Arsenals, and Moni. Oh, God, I can't pronounce things tonight. We got us an Eternal Bond, an Infinite Card. Stole that card right there. The Warrior Returning Alive, a Converging Wishes, and Joker's Wild. One of the new cards. One of the new cards that you can get in the set. What to do? During the main or battle phase, send one spell from your deck to the graveyard that specifically lists all of Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight. And this effect becomes that spell's effect when that card is activated. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one light warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. And if you do add this card to your hand, you can only use each effect of the Joker's Wild once per turn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you weren't kidding. This set really is wild. All right, so that is Hollow number one. Uh, now, if I recall correctly, seeing a few of these pop up online now, uh, you get, if you're lucky, at least three ultra rares. I don't think I've ever seen anyone get four ultra rares, but it doesn't really deter you from the fact that you can still get three ultra rares and a collector's rare from a box, so. Don't be despair. Don't be despair. Let's go. Let's get it. So we got us a Golden Eyes Idol. We got us a ZW Ultimate Shield. A lot of reprints in here, such as Rescue Rabbit, the Wicked Dreadroot, Constellar Pol uh, Pol Oh God, Constellar M Seven. Jeez, jeez, jeez. What is wrong with me? We got a Stardust Zhao Long and Thunder Speed Summon. Oh, I I think what 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 we got here? Oh, this is another. Oh, this is another one. Okay, what what's this one do? 
During the main or battle phase, immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one level 10 monster, or if you control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight, you can apply this effect instead. Add one level 10 dark monster with question mark attack from your deck to your hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one level 10 monster. You can only activate one thunder speed summon per turn. Oh, fascinating fascinating okay and can we take a moment to just appreciate the the pack art i love the pack art on this set this is really spectacular very spectacular um i haven't really followed up on like what you can exactly get collectors rare wise in here i think there are i think 15 of the cards you can get as collectors rare. oh the wicked avatar question mark Attack, Dark Monster. I see what they did there with that Thunder Speed Summon. Okay. Unexpected Die, the Warrior Returning Alive. Jack's Knight, nice. King's Knight, A. Hey, you know what? I think we're just gonna have to put a little special section for those guys right there. And, whoa! Look at that. Ultra Rare number one, a Lightning Storm. Can't do much better than that to start off. Look at that card pretty much speaks for itself if you control no face up cards activate one of these effects destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls or destroy all spell and traps your opponent controls outstanding outstanding ultra rare to start outstanding ultra rare to start well that's one down ah uh, goodness gracious yeah i feel i, I feel like that Ah, uh, nah, 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 nah. We're, I'm, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna reserve, I'm gonna reserve the sleeves for like something spectacular. Now, now, not to say that Lightning Storm isn't spectacular. I think that's probably one of the best pulls that you can get out of the box, in my opinion. Number F Zero Utopic Future. Oh my, 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 my. Pendling Xyz Arcanite Joker. There's the Fusion Monster card version of it. Okay, okay, all right. And then we got us a Scrap Twin Dragon. Not really sure why this is in here, but I'm not complaining. I love getting all the foil cards. So yeah, so you get only seven cards per pack, six rares, one hollow or better. And that's usually not how they used to do this configuration. So before it used to be, uh, you would get four super rares. There we go. Now we have completed our spectrum here. Queen's Knight. Summon the King's Knight, special summon Jack's Knight, and then you tribute summon them all to bring out your bad boy God card. Outstanding. Outstanding. All right, so we got us a Drowning Fusion, Zolgo the Prophet, a Cloud Castle, and Face Card Fusion. Whew. What this, well, what we got here? Fusion summon one Light Warrior Fusion Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If you control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack Knight, you can use one monster from your deck as fusion material. You can only activate one face card fusion per turn. Hmm, are you summoning Arcana Knight Joker with this? It's fascinating. We'll see what else they got up in this bad boy. Oh, you know, it's a shame that they put most of the, uh... They put most of the uh, night card support as ultra rare, so it's like, oh, Gravekeepers love that. Why do you only put one Gravekeeper in this set, though? I have no idea. Ties of the Brethren, the Wicked Avatar. Very irksome to me. Very irksome. Rivalry of Warlords. That was a popular card for a hot minute back then. And then we got a Ting Dangle the Holes. Okay, sure, why not? Why not? I'm not objecting. Not objecting at all. Give me all the hollows. And a number 49 fortune tune. It's been a hot minute since I've seen that card. Ugh. I think it's probably been a hot minute since anybody's actually played it. Assuming that anybody actually has played it. I don't know. And another tin dangle the holes. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think we're getting the gist of most of the uh, cards that you can get. Uh, hey, there we go. Now we got our, our second King's Knight. Nice. Majestic Dragon. Ah, number 39, Utopia. Good card right there. Ah, and now we have the... Oh, God, what do you call this? The Link version of the card. Arcana Extra Joker. So I think that completes the whole circuit there. And 
Oh, dropping card. But hey, look at that. Ultra rare number two. And I think this is a very important card. Imperial Bower, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. Bower. Imperial Bower. That's it. That's it. Level four light warrior monster. Um, if you control no other monsters, you contribute this card. Take two different monsters from your deck among Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight and either add to your hand or special summon each monster. You can only use this effect of Imperial Bower once per turn. I like it. I am a fan. I am a fan. Ultra Rare number two. Bring, give, me all, give me all the Joker cards. Like, let's go. Let's get it. Let's make a Joker deck. I don't know if it'll be competitive or not, but for casual play, why not? Why not? Queen's Knight number two and another Thunder Speed Summon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good stuff going all around here. And a Rose Princess. That's random. Why is this here? I'm not complaining, though. It is very random. I have no idea why it's in the set. Court of Cards. All right. This is a continuous trap card. What this do? If you control no monsters or only control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight, you can special summon one Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight from your hand or graveyard. You can banish up to one each Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight from your hand and or graveyard. Draw the same number of cards you banish. You can only use one Court of Cards effect per turn and only once that turn. Very important right there. I think that's a one of. I think you might play one of that in your deck. Like, like sure, why not? Oh, Crystal Girl. Hey, nice. I don't really know what you do, but. Another face card fusion. Okay. Good stuff there. Good stuff there. And a Hyper Galaxy. This has got to be uh, Galaxy support? Yes. Tribute one monster with 2,000 more attack, except Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon. And target one monster your opponent controls with 2,000 more attack. Tribute it. And if you do, special summon one Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only activate one Hyper Galaxy per turn. Oh, that's a good way to get rid of pesky cards. Does this, did it say target? Then target, yeah, it does target. That's a bit unfortunate. But hey, just in case, you know, not every card can counter target. So... Might be a good way to get rid of some pesky extra deck monster your opponent has on the board that's just sitting there annoying the heck out of you. And it's just like, hey, use gots to go. Oh, look at that. Two. Two in a row. Love it. Love it. Two Hyper Galaxies in a row. Nice. Big fan right there. Big fan right there. All right. I'm not. I've, I've lost track. Oh, I didn't even realize we reached the hollow already. Oh, man. It was just flying by. It's amazing. It's amazing how much time flies by when you're having fun. I love doing this. This is so good. Um, so what what is going on in Yu-Gi-Oh! these days? I know they got a new main core set that's supposed to be dropping sometime this month. I definitely would like to pick up a box of that, show it to y'all. Looks like it's going to be a good set. Uh, a lot of shenanigans going on in there. We'll definitely get to that when we comes the time to it. Oh! Ultra rare number three. Uh, what well, we have? Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight. That is a lot of words going on here. Oh my gosh. What? Oof. Goodness gracious. Look at that shine though. So shiny. Actually, now, now that we've actually pulled an extra deck monster, now we can finally get the opportunity to show off my Yugi Man sleeves right here. Yes. Oh, yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, wait. I don't want to use that one. Yeah, we're going to use this one right here. Okay, perfect. Look at that. So this is now ultra rare card number three, and you get the sleeve. Oof. Actually looks very nice in the sleeve. Very nice in the sleeve. Okay, you get to go right back there. All right. You know what would be very nice? If I was able to, like... Get a fourth ultra? Come on, opens up. Oh, World Legacy Guard Dragon. This is a good card. It's a good card right here. Good super rare to have. Just in case things go a little haywire. Alright, what else do we got? What else we got? White Rose. What is this? Cloyster? Pokemon? I don't know. But it's a field spell, probably for some plant support, so 
That should make all you plant deck people very happy. Oh, and an XC Hyper Cannon. I'm not sure we've seen this one yet. I think this is a XYZ Dragon Cannon support. Okay. All right. All right. I know that was running around rampant in the format some time ago. And a Magnet Induction. Oh, wow. Look at that. If you control a Magnet Warrior Monster whose original level is four or lower special summon four or lower magnet warrior monsters from your deck with different names than the card you control also for the rest of this turn after this card resolves magnet warrior and magnet war and magna warrior monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effects you can only activate one magnet induction per turn outstanding right there outstanding so we're down to the last two packs in this box another world legacy guard dragon and last pack of this box last pack of this box we're ending with a yang zing card okay well that might be the last pack of this box but we are not done yet because i still got some extra packs yes sir let's get it bonus time <laughs> We are in the overtime period now. We got five minutes, less than that. We got five minutes to get something good. Fourth ultra rare, come on, something, something. Something right here. Show me some love. I, I, I deserve a little love today, and I think we all deserve a little love. What would make me feel so happy? Extra ultra rare card. Thunder speed summon, all right. Nothing to write home about there. I think that would be number three. Number three of that one. Oh, this is definitely an ultra rare pack. I can feel it. I can feel it. Watch me be wrong, but I can feel it. Definitely. We're going to get something good here, ladies and gentlemen. Something good. Oh, number, another number 49. Another number 49. Hmm. All right. I don't mind that. You can give me all of that. I'm sure somebody will tell me if that card is going to be, like, competitive or not again. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? We got a Pendulum Transfer, Pot of Duality, Wind Up, Eternal Bond, and another Crystal Girl. Okay. Okay. Still in the overtime period here. Still in the overtime period here. Trying to, you know, get ourselves some kind of lucky stuff going on here. Oh, I opened that pack up very well. Oh, oh. there we go. Hold on to that one. All right. Pendulum Exceed. Hey, another Joker. Another Joker. We got us a rivalry, reinforcement, Yang Zing, Jack's Knight, and hey, look at that. A Joker straight. I knew there was another ultra rare coming. Come on, what we got here? Brand new ultra rare card. Talk to me. Show me. Read what, what we got here. Discard one card, special summon one Queen's Knight from your deck. Add one King's Knight or Jack's Knight from your deck to your hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one monster. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except light warrior monsters. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can, you can, what is it? You can target one light warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle it in the deck, and if you do add, add this card to your hand. You can only use each effect of Joker's trick once per turn. Sorry, I'm just reading it a little bit off camera there because there's a bit of a glare. But yes, nice, nice. Ultra rare number four. And we are not done, ladies and gentlemen, because we still got three more packs left. Yes, we're 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 emptying out our arsenal. It is hands down, hands down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's let's let in, in one of these three blisters right here, we are gonna get ourselves not only an alt another ultra rare, we are gonna get ourselves our first collector's rare. It's gonna happen in one of these three packs right here. Another number 49. Another number 49. That That is definitely a play set of 49s right there. What do we got here? All right. This is blister number two. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. So we, should, we, we didn't do all right with that first one, but we got two more chances at this. I feel it. I can feel it in my bones. I am not going to be able to leave here without getting at least a collector's rare or another ultra rare. It's, it's definitely here somewhere. I know it. I sense it. I feel it. Oh, see, I said that I was going to talk about this the next time it showed up. Oh, it's a lot of words. Now nah, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. I lied. It was a lot of words there. That's the other problem with Yu-Gi-Oh. Too many cards with a lot of words. Joker's Wild. I'm, I can't remember. Yes, we did. I think this was one of the first ones that we got. 
So this is the final, final, I, I, I kid you not, I don't have any more, I don't have any more King Quartz packs, at least for now, after this one. So this is gonna be it. We are gonna make it rain or not, or bust with this one. We're going, we're going aces high. Aces high right here, come on, oof. Oh my God, another King's Knight, there we go. Converging wishes. Oh, I really want to end on an ultra. I want to end on an ultra. Come on. Let's end on an ultra. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's it gonna be? Oh, on the last pack. What? We did it in the last pack. A collector rare. Guilty Gifry, the magical steel nine. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I did I what did I tell you? What did I tell you? What oh yes, 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 yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, where where we at? Where we at? Oh, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. I can't believe this happened. I can't believe we did I I I kid you not, I really was not expecting this at all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, collector rare, what? Oof, look at that shine right there. Okay, so, so that was 24 plus four, 28 plus three, 31. So in 31 packs, this is what we accomplished. This is what we accomplished. Where, where are we at? Where are we at? We got one, two, three. Ugh. So this is what we did. This is what we did. We got our Imperial Boer, right? Ultra Air One, Lightning Storm, probably worth the box right here. We got us a Joker Straight, nice. We got us an Ultra Rare Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight in Ultra Rare and Collector Rare versions oh my gosh <sighs> actually I, I i think i need to go to vegas with my luck right now last pack magic that is outstanding oh we got to do this again same time next week i I'd, I'd say all right cue that applause peoples cue that applause and please remember to subscribe thank you